So anyway, let's just okay. <clears throat> just one last topic about art. I can see how mm. some paintings are worth the uh, hundred million dollars, maybe, right? I looked at this painting over here. It's called the Massacre of the Innocents, mm. right? And it is gorgeous. It really is very very good. Stunning, isn't it? Let me just have a look here. Mm. Yeah, just something like this. Yeah, I can see how an artwork like this could be worth anywhere from sixty to seventy million dollars. Obviously, I w- I wouldn't pay that much money <laughs> <laughs> since I don't have that much money. Yeah. But I can understand it, right? This is just insane. It's masterful, isn't it? Yeah, it's very very good, and you can yeah. see the play on light, shadow, mm. and you can um, see the 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 raw emotions in 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 the yeah. fo- in the artwork as well. You can see this man, he's very strong. He's smashing babies against the ground. Actually, you can it's see the the sickly babies on the floor. It's pure brutality, you know. Yeah. And the thing is, a, a painting like this, right, will immediately, at least for me, I don't know about you, mm. get me questioning, get an internal dialogue going. Mm. A lot of like the pop art and all that down there, it's just like a, it's a slap to your intelligence for me. Mm. Okay, and that's why I don't like I don't like pop art. What what is pop art? Pop art would be like anything that is that is derived or inspired by like Andy Warhol, <laughs> and I I I, 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 I be very honestly I yes. hate the bugger. Okay, I'm gonna I, just look at this. <laughs> what pop art is? Is this pop art? This I okay. You 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 type in Andy Warhol. Okay, I'll type in Andy Warhol. <laughs> okay, this is interesting. I okay, so Andy Wall art is that fine? Yeah. Okay. You know Salvador Dali and you know some of the other fantastic painters of time mm-hmm. met with this guy and you know they they thought he was an unintelligent, just like an ape, you know. <laughs> okay, and like I mean, look at the art. He right. did this um, this Campbell soup thing, mm-hmm. and that w- that that got how much space in uh, the Singapore Art Museum. I, mm. I went for I went for the uh, Andy Warhol exhibition. I just want to see, try and expand my mind, get over maybe this um, this ego, you know. Mm. This, maybe it's ego that's making me feel like you're you're fucked up, you know. Yeah. You're fucked up. <laughs> I said, okay, like get over yourself. Go, mm. give it a chance. Try and expand your own mind. Try and include include what he's doing. Mm-hmm. You know, what's art for you is art for you, but what's art for him is maybe he's being true to himself also, right? Mm-hmm. So go and try and include include him. Mm-hmm. Hey, couldn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> couldn't do it, bro. I'm sorry, but I tried, la. Okay, so, okay. When I look at this thing, mm. I imagine that mm. the reason why he put this painting up is it's a painting, is it? I think so. Right. Uh, I think the reason why he did this is probably just a a middle finger to the art world. Would that mm. be it? I guess. Um, yeah, maybe it was. You know, maybe. And if it was a middle finger to the art world, then the thing is he. People get inspired by these things, you see. <laughs> so you got like generations after following, right. saying, and if they are saying fuck art, then uh, they've done a royally good job at it. Chairman Mao. I mean, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah that's funny. <laughs> yeah, shit. It's funny, but then like, is it art? You know, right. is it art? You question yourself and like, ah, you you know you know the one with the. What's the chick's name next to John Lennon? M- Marilyn Monroe. Yeah, Marilyn Monroe. Mm. So I guess this would have been a little bit, uh, uh, well, kind of out of the box for its time because mm-hmm. you got you got these combination of colors that that are quite out there and right. It's they, almost they, neon. Right? They don't yeah. seem to match, you know. Mm-hmm. But then you got this figure there, and it it looks like um it looks like a. There's togetherness, but then at the same time, the colors throw you off completely. So mm. maybe this was kind of like out of the box back then. I I mm. don't know, but it it doesn't appeal to me. And uh, like we saw the mask of the innocence just now. Mm. I mean, come on, there's mm. there's there's mastery in that work, you know. Right. There's there's patience. And detail, there's a lot detail. of detail. Now I'm not saying that yeah. there was no patience inside this, uh, mm-hmm. but then it's like, uh, right. You know what I'm trying to say. Yeah, yeah. It, it's missing the, the it, feeling like it's it's the best in that art world. You know that that feeling. Many people tend to think of Andy Warhol as the best artist around in that kind of sense. You know, in especially in mainstream, mm. people think, alright, he's the best, he's the best. Mm. But I I think in a way it's kind of like Justin Bieber, you know, where people yeah. think, 
Justin Bieber's the best. He's not. He's a he's a great singer, I guess. But I mean, listen to Mariah Carey, listen to Whitney Houston, and you know. But, uh, yeah. No, this is the thing. It's like um, you have a very very narrow, uh, minded viewpoint mm-hmm. of what exists. Mm-hmm. Maybe half the people don't even know that this and this and this exist. Right, right. It's there. The amazing art is there from all over the world, from hundreds of years ago. It's there, mm. but because you're so bombarded every day by the contemporary, mm. what's contemporary and what is told to you that is popular, mm-hmm. this is what you should fix your f- uh, uh, framework around. Right. Don't look outside this, because right. we're telling you what's good. We're telling you what sells for millions. This is art. Right. Okay. And the objective. To free your own self is to go beyond that. Right. Never leave yourself in the framework or inside the box that they tell you. Mm-hmm. That's the one thing I would tell fellow artists. I I, I do see this a lot with music, um, <clears throat> whereas the pop the pop music. I mean, it's basically pop art, pop music. It penetrates it? everything. Yeah. It's like you have no choice but to listen to it. Right. And then you know you get crazy fans who are crazy about the latest pop artists and stuff. But there are some artists who I do find are really really good. For example, mm. um, I think Beyonce is really good. Okay, she's a mainstream singer. Yeah. I think she deserves a spot for sure, right? Um, and you know you got you got One Direction and you know these boy bands and stuff like that. I I understand the appeal, right? And but the problem is. Sometimes people look at music and think these guys are dominating the music world. Then. Yeah, correct. Because yeah. if you blast it everywhere, yeah. uh, play it on all the radio stations multiple times a day, people will think, well, this is it. This is the best. <laughs> this this, is the best this must be the best. <laughs> They're playing it right. all the time. Yeah. But then you got bands like like Queen and Led mm. Zeppelin and all these things that existed. Yeah, they were from they're not contemporary, right. but their music has stood the test of time right. because you got people playing it now 40 Forty, fifty years later, mm-hmm. giving them the goosebumps that the new age music can't. 